So you want to start off with a pretty large frying pan and we're just going to go ahead and put, that's about a tablespoon, but that measurement doesn't have to be exact. Now we're just going to cover that with a cookie sheet to help that butter melt quicker. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack these eggs into our little measuring cup. I've been wanting to do this recipe for a video for quite a while now. Um, it's from one of my favorite TV shows. I don't know, have you guys watched um, the wonderful, amazing cooking show that is The Bear? Well, we're gonna be recreating something from that show. Next, you wanna go ahead and take some sour cream. And I have a fresh container here. I'm just gonna do a pretty generous dollop right in there just like so. Next, I'm going to add some garlic powder. All right, not too much, just, you know, a little bit. You, you, yeah, you guys know me, I love, I love me some garlic. So that's obviously a preference. You can add that or not. And now I'm just going to whisk up these eggs with that sour cream. Now the sour cream is gonna stay chunky like that, that's fine. If you want to melt it down to be more liquidy before you put it in with the eggs, feel free. Okay, that, that's looking pretty good to me. All right, so let's set this aside for just a moment. And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and you'll see that yes, that butter is nice and melted. Not burned though, because we don't want burned butter. And now what I'm doing is just coating the bottom of this pan. Now let's go ahead and add that beautiful egg, silky mixture. And yes, those lumps are supposed to be there from the sour cream. It will melt together, so don't worry. It's all right, those will be like really silky, decadent bites. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. You can use a lid if you want for your frying pan, but I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this cookie sheet right here for a few moments. All right, now while the eggs cook, you can go ahead and take a little dance break with your favorite pooch. <gasps> yes, you're making yummy eggs. Yes, none for you though. <laughs> All right, now the eggs aren't 100% done. You can see they're still a little soft, but I'm gonna now go ahead and add a little salt and a little pepper. You don't wanna add them when the eggs are still like super runny because then your eggs will turn gray. All right, now our omelet is ready for, in my opinion, the best ingredient, which is going to be some herbed cream cheese. Now you can use just like if there's a, a garlic herb or whatever kind of cream cheese you want actually, but this is the onion and chive one. And I'm going to now add some dollops of that. It's all right guys, my hands are clean. Ooh, that's a hot pan though, be careful. Let me turn down the heat on that just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add, um, I think about three dollops of cream cheese will be a perfect amount. And then, again guys, it'll this cream cheese will melt, as you can see it's already starting to, once we finish assembling our omelet. So, don't, feel like they have to be evenly spread. They're gonna melt down here in just a minute. But do your best. Okay, just like so. All right, now let's go ahead and fold over our omelet. I'm going to do it in thirds like that. Perfect. Ooh, I am so excited. This is gonna be absolutely amazing, guys. And if you wanna put the lid back on a little bit and finish cooking it just so that cheese can melt a little bit more. Feel free, but that step isn't required. Okay, now we're ready to finish the last assembly on the omelet. Look at that. Let's go ahead and plate that bad boy. Just like so. Now, some might think that I overcooked my eggs a little bit, but I personally like them slightly browned. So now, 
we're gonna add some potato chips. Now, I just got these from my Trader Joe's, the salt and pepper kind, but you get whatever kind of potato chips you want. And look at those. I'm gonna just crunch them with my hands and put them right on top of that beautiful omelet. This is gonna add a nice salty finish and a good amount of crunch. This is perfect. All right, we're just gonna use a little bit of dried parsley to garnish that bad boy, and we're ready to dig in. All right, I am really excited. I, I tried this over the weekend. It's delicious. You guys watch the show. Let me know if you saw this recipe that they made. Now it's time for the finished product bite. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 